it's kind of something we've been talking in chat right there, <laughs> pointing out that uh, one of the bigger things, too, about the Arachna pickup, was the W, the uh, Harden Carapace, it actually will even purge off things like Sheep Stick. So if she happens to be sheeped, you know, just uses the Harden Carapace if he hasn't yet, and it will remove it. And so, you know, it goes back to what we were talking about earlier with the Hellflower, and so I would I would now very likely believe so that is the case. Yeah, it does. Uh, if, especially if that. It's it's just kind of funny, you know, seeing that, though. That even the players that play, these, like Hacks are even making a point. He's like, I didn't even realize that until my I team mean, had to tell me. So Who plays Arachna nowadays? I know. It's, it's definitely but, not I a mean, it's, one. I really think it's going to be start. It's going to be played more again. It's so strong. Like also the E, Arachna's attack damage goes up by a hundred percent. Yeah. Maximum at twenty percent. So you know, it's absolutely insane. It <laughs> okay. Is. Um, it is a maximum of one hundred twenty bonus attack damage, but. Yeah, it's still it's still a lot of damage. It's good. Yeah, that that it's it's funny because again the the precision was what really caught my eye about the changes that happened to her that I felt like that's why we were gonna maybe see her more. But that that level two on the hardened carapace. It's also it's the hardened carapace has, for sure. Like, yeah. it's so ridiculous. Like, get rid of parasite silence. Get rid of Magnus stun. Get rid of anything you want to. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty powerful. So, has that capability right there. Um, Maybe maybe this is the game that kind of puts her maybe a little bit more on the spot, but we'll see. As far as this game so far, obviously not seen yet. We got uh, the initial bans. It was Midas into Tremble, Doctor into Wild Soul. Doctor again. Slap just really respecting that Doctor Repulsor uh, against Balthazar here. We then have, sure enough, Behemoth coming out into Parasite, Calacius into Magmus, Prisoner into Gauntlet, actually. So... Not often we get uh, two hooking heroes in the same game nowadays, especially, but we have that here. Yeah, and it's Gauntlet again. They really like the Gauntlet pickup, and to be fair, it does a lot of work. And you know, Boxy and Pusin playing together in mid is always like a sight to see. But at the same time, last game, it just if it doesn't get much farm, it's kind of meh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just and it ended up getting uh, AOE down. But yeah, I love seeing the uh, two hooking heroes though going at it. That should be fun to watch, especially if they meet up in the middle lane. And uh, which it's it's very possible. I mean, Glacius supported probably more of a response to the parasite, if anything. But you can figure, of course, uh, going to be good follow up at least. Now, I guess that's one of the doubts. Not the greatest lead stun is a Glacius for a prisoner, but if he's able to land a hook, there's not going to be a easy chance to get away by any means. So yeah. There'll be Hemoth on there as well, of course. So yeah, a lot of lockdown potential here, especially on the Legion side. Um, bands. Okay, no, they have started. It's Swift Blade Puppet, Silhouette Tempest here. A lot of carries Yeah. Here. The Swift Blade also from Make. I mean, they do have a prisoner, but Swift Blade can still... Ha he still has his ways to get out of a prisoner lockdown. Yeah. Really thinking about this third band. Jeez. It's not just... Yeah. Using nearly all of his extra time. You know, I always find this a little amusing at the same time, because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking to myself, like, for all we know, Slap is just on his phone, like, texting somebody, just kind of <laughs> stops paying attention for a little bit. He's like, oh, crap, five seconds left. Uh, but we, you know, from our perspective, it looks like he's genuinely thinking about it. But You know, stone. watching the end of his of the game on Honcast while banning and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Catching up on the weather or something. I don't know. Yeah. Sweet. Sandrith has been so ridiculous, by the way. Recently, with the Resto Stone and stuff, it just, it's so strong. Yesterday, we saw Complexity trying to running, running it, and it didn't work out because he didn't go instant Resto rest Stone. But it, like, when you have the Resto Stone finally, it just feels like the ultimate is up all the time, and yeah. it does so much work. Now, you is see. Sir, see? Yeah, you see them right clicking it, but no. And the same thing. Well, this was yesterday as well, between Complexity and Sync. They, Zlap decided to pick Pyromancer, I think, uh -huh. instead of... You're right. Pick, yeah, instead of Cersei. Yeah. All right. They definitely did. Now, again, it worked out for them, but you do see San or the deadlift coming out for Sync to finish it off. So they love this prisoner deadlift combo especially, and you throw a Behemoth. Like, this is a lot of reach, man. Behemoth, prisoner, yeah. deadlift. They yeah. just need an artillery. 
they, actually saw death. If they had artillery, then yeah, no. Sam yeah. Reed, of course, he's decent for that as well, though. He just presses R, and he's all of a sudden there. Yeah. So, of course, it's great. The great thing, but about deadlift is, and about Behemoth and Prisoner, you don't have to be close to the target when you're using your abilities. Whereas Sandwraith, pretty much just YOLOs in there. Yeah. Boxy, well not Boxy, but more so the final pick here is, now they, get, they do got a bit of time to think about it, 40 more seconds even, so. Um, I mean, you think of what they still need, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that they'll carry. A carry, yeah, but which one, I mean, Mage Bane could work. But there's just so much lockdown from the Legion side with Behemoth, Prisoner, Glacius, and Deadlift that he's going to need a Shrunken as well as a Geometers to be able to uh, survive, I think. Maybe Arachna here is the best <laughs> option, actually. I mean, it's strong versus Sidewraith. If yeah. he gets the Spider on him, he's going to have Vision on him as well. And then, I mean, he can cancel the Behemoth stun, the Prisoner Shackle, of course. They go with the Mage Bane. Yeah, they go Mage Bane. But as you pointed out, he could be a little vulnerable to the lockdown and everything. He's going to need, obviously, a lot of time to to get the rune, get the Firebrand possibly, and then maybe the Shrunken after that. But but there is the idea that Behemoth Suicide is not going to offer a lot of um, yeah a lot of competition for Mage Bane at all. He's not going to make it difficult for him to farm. Okay. So that's where Mage Bane is fantastic. Yeah, so that's probably what they could possibly be banking on. And again, this is a very active team around Mage Bane as well. The Parasite Magnus, Gauntlet, and Pyromancer. There's a lot of good damage, a lot of lockdown themselves, so you can't overlook that either um, with this BMG strategy here. So going to try to buy time for the Mage Bane, as usual, to then let him take over the game. Again, these teams competing to face off against Complexity Gaming, who's waiting in the grand finals for the later match here today. To finish it off for cycle number five. And right now, Sink in the better spot. Up one game to nothing here. Going into game number two. So we thank you for tuning in here on this Sunday. As looks like BMG a little passive here. Not uh, almost act like they were going to maybe be going into the jungle pretty aggressively. But now they've played safe. But look what they're doing. They're running aggressive, it looks like. Mm -hmm. they, that's why the pyro they want to lay in the magmas pyro together and now gauntlet gets to have levels which is really good for them as well plus i think in a prisoner versus gauntlet matchup i think gauntlet takes takes the cake <laughs> i think gauntlet is a little bit stronger in terms of um yeah with that enfeeble he's just gonna auto attack prisoner a bit more make prisoner a bit slower just if prisoner can hit a hook of course into the tower then there's a chance that Gauntlet is going to die, but I honestly think that Boxy can just spam his Infernal Instability as well and just get more last hits. Mm -hmm. Well, so th that also brings up an interesting point about this uh, about this Glacius here, and where does he go? Because I, I feel like, is he really going to accomplish a lot at this bottom lane? I mean, Sandwraith probably isn't going to get much farm anyways, and if anything, is almost like a target for Pyro and Mag to kill here. So maybe him just going middle as well to make it a two versus one might be the better. Mm hmm. But then you have the completely nerfed uh, Sandrith. Yeah. And then Sandrith really stands no chance. And, all right, he's fairly confident. I mean, Teltuk is walking in now, but, okay, good job by uh, Serenia blocking it off. And, oh no! Uh -huh. This might actually be. Ooh, the sun almost hit Glacius. If it hit Glacius, it'd be a kill, but deadlift. He's gonna be fine. Maki? Yeah, he's doing a good job eating through the trees right there. Maki just did not want to stun. I'm not sure damage. why not. Sandraith can't do anything to help, and okay, now Teltic's camp is blocked. This is why you wait until 30 seconds to show yourself at all. Yeah. Now, like, now he doesn't have a camp, and their entire idea of manning up has been ruined because Deadlift is going to be so good at ganking when he gets to level two. Mm -hmm. So, like, even yeah, look, Pyromancer is just saying, okay. Screw it, I'm going to mid lane because we completely failed our mana plane. Wow. <laughs> Just like that. God, on paper, it felt like the Cellborn team was possibly going to have the better for sure. But, yeah, no, you're right. It's Just completely because of how that started, now they, they kind of lost the control. They just aren't comfortable anymore. And as we're it's seeing because of It's because of the Parasite not being there. They're not confident enough that they can win 2v3. So they want to just secure farm and boxy and... I mean, I don't blame them, but at the same time, there's a chance that, uh, okay, hook going in now, but 
Yeah, prisoner's too tanky. But there we go, that's what I'm saying. Pyromancer. Yep, he's gonna go down. Like, the deadlift Q is so strong for this. Pyromancer is, has no place to be. He should just go top. Yeah, just so he doesn't get killed, if anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there's bit. nothing. There's nothing that he can do in this game right now. He feels completely out of place, and to be honest, in that case, why didn't he just pick the Cersei? Oh yeah, that would have been much better of a pick then at that point, yeah. Because really at that point, you know, he's just getting level 6 and he's done his job, basically. Yeah, then... Okay, so bottom lane. Yeah, they're gonna go in now. Pyromancer are having a port down here, though, so this is gonna catch Sink off guard. Here comes a death grip. It does hit Magnus, but they and get the Kona Glacius first. Sandray is gonna chase, actually. But he Zlapt isn't coming as well. How's Deadlift coming? Yeah, you do see Pyromancer. Stun. Answer. There's a stun to hit onto Sandray. It's not gonna be enough damage, though, I don't think. He needs one more. He can't nope. get it off. And now Magnus also, oh, he is going to be able to make the escape, but now Fusin is Fusin in a little bit of trouble. Maybe not. The dead shall rise, Nuke. I don't know. Okay, if he's is to he going to eat through? Get to the trees. He has it in two seconds. Why is One, he blocking Pyromancer? <laughs> 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 he did kind of block Pyromancer I think, a little bit. I think he uh, would have died regardless, but it's just funny. Yeah. Like, Make, just die. Just go home. Go to base. Yeah, you need to be there anyways. That was pretty funny, actually. I mean, and, uh, the goal was, I'm sure, to maybe block Deadlift and not Pyromancer, but he kind of happened to block both, and that's not really the good thing there. So, yeah, The ideal funny. situation. Yeah, <laughs> ideal situation would have been that, but yeah. I mean, might have been dead anyways, as you're pointing out. So look at this push, though, all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm a little surprised that they don't go for it. I guess Zlap doesn't have his onslaught here, so yeah, that makes a little more that's sense. That's the biggest part. Could have been a chance, though. But, uh, yeah, Sync, though, coming out on top right there, at least. As again, Samurai did manage to survive. And now Deadlift all of a sudden is 2-0-0. And, oh, and this kind of goes back again to the last game out. A little bit of a slower start for Telta Cat on BMG. But his laps, he's doing pretty good. He's already been involved in uh, the two kills now, including the Bloodlust in the middle. And speaking of middle. Here comes the hook, oh, because man. it lasts so... What, what was <laughs> that? Okay. That because, looks uh, weird. Why not? Anyways, bottom lane. No, Maka is pretty confident. That gave him a huge lead, actually, in this bottom lane. He's a lot more of a threat now with that bottle. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if he were to just go for the stun right now. Stun both of them, get some damage in there, because, okay, <laughs> then he does that. Well, meanwhile, though, middle lane, lane yeah. Gauntlet gets picked off, however. If Houston was standing there, letting him hook to him, but... It just didn't matter, just the damage was too much. Again, this goes back to the range, though. The Prisoner, the Behemoth, the Deadlift, they just have so much of it. And this is going to be another kill. But look at that! It's just, you can't do a damn thing against but this why, combo. But why is Teltic level 3? Oh, yeah, the, uh... Parasite? Yeah. I'm so confused. Meanwhile, Magmus goes down bottom lane. It's just falling to pieces now all of a sudden for BMG. Yeah, but it's been five minutes, and a level three Parasite, he, I, I honestly thought he was going to be higher level than Slaps because he moved to his own woods, but Zebe blocked both camps, or, no, Teltuk, what, he unblocked it finally. I think he was spending way too much time unblocking his camp rather than actually just farming, because go to the medium camp, just take the Alchemist Ogre, farm like that, but he's being inefficient. <laughs> Yeah, he's at level four right here. He's trying to recover, but yeah, a little bit slower for sure than would hope for. And again, Magma's dying at the bottom lane. So you mentioned with that bottle now, maybe going to feel a little more comfortable. Well, maybe a little too comfortable there as he does get picked off. So now I will say, look at Beltazar, just like last game. 380 gold per minute already. Again, it's not really surprising, but um, he is doing what they needed him to do at least. So that's, that's kind of a saving grace, if anything, for... BMG right now, the 380 GPM, but like we're also talking about, I mean, he will need a bit of time uh, before he is going to be of a threat where a supporting cast was going to need to kind of make do in the meantime, and right now, that's that's where they're struggling a little bit at six and a half minutes now. Look at this bottom lane. Legion team has four players here, actually. Yeah, they know that Fusin's there, and there <laughs> comes the death grip. <laughs> yeah, not much you can do about that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the experience is staying pretty even. Obviously, a lot of clumping up going on, but yeah, getting found there pretty easily. So it's only a thousand goalie, but a lot of that is because that mage man is doing so well. Yeah. 
But he's gonna get a rune dax really, really fast this game. Mid lane now though, Boxy. God. That, yeah. this is the combo. Yeah. Just the deadlift prisoner, like since he's been running it, it's so, it makes it so easy. It's funny, because this deadlift prisoner alone are so good, but then you throw a behemoth on there, you throw a sand wraith on it. It's just absurd. Bottom lane. And again, it's gonna happen. You see Fissure Stun? He hits it. Oh, nice oh, job by Maki with the timing. Oh, the shockwave, it does do some damage. Yeah. I'm really desperate for that. We well, got it, I guess. The Mage Bane was not the right pick. The Arachno would have been better. Well, they should have just put Arachna mid. Like Sync did last oh, game. Oh, yeah, to, to kind of counter the deadlift a little bit, yeah. Yeah. True. But, but, so, but at the same time, again, I, I do feel like this is at least going to give them a shot because they have a true hard carry that is yeah. free farming right now. So that's kind of, again, just absolutely what they're going to be banking on. Now, as you say this, it's his turn now. <laughs> oh, boy, Shackle. He's dead. Okay, never mind. That, look at the death grip. The death it's like, oh, just in case. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, I just it feels like Sync is a lot more comfortable running the deadlift. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're clearly they 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 understand the the value. Well, that's the thing that not only good at running with it, but again, as we saw last game, they're also comfortable at playing against it. Again, picking up the more access, picking up that Arachna, to in a sense Top counter lane. it. So, uh, yeah, really, they, they've they've definitely found that nice medium with the hero parasite. Okay, he does he's have support boxing. coming. I was going to say, he's not getting this kill by himself, I don't think, but here comes Boxing. It's the max hook. Ooh, Zibe. I feel like he could have tried for a little bit of a juke right there, but... He didn't see him, though. Yeah, it's okay. the maxed out hook, so it's and it's night, so you don't really see it coming. That makes sense. Well, another kill happens. Well, I guess that, oh, well, that one's for BMG, though, so at <laughs> least their second kill coming out, so at least, again, kind of good there. And again, I will say, just a 9-2 hero kill lead, it feels like the golden experience should be a lot higher right now for Sync. But yeah. It's not that crazy yet. It's skewed because the behemoth is not actually standing in the lane and getting a uh, getting XP. He's just being there for kills. I mean, you saw he just went to top lane and then he immediately died. I feel a sense of disgust because he's playing this beautiful hero. <laughs> oh, man. That's that's kind of funny when you know a hero's just kind of need, needs maybe some tweaks. When teams that play against it just hate it, and then teams that play it also just feel disgusting. Because I I feel like that's just across the board again. Complexity's made that clear. Sync has made that clear. Now it's just like these teams like they just all kind of agree. Let's just not. Uh, I'm surprised the gentleman ban hasn't kind of been thrown out there. I don't know if it has been, but I mean yeah, that yeah, was the case with Zephyr. When Zephyr was completely broken, ah. but deadlift, the win rate says he only has like 50% win yeah. rate. Well, that's because we saw just now BMG losing with it. Yeah, and and, and Sync yesterday when I think they were in a game one against Complexity and they lost with it. So it's definitely not a. Uh, Here game. comes the death grip. Very high win percentage, but. Nope. Oh, <laughs> the <laughs> timing. <laughs> what? We saw that earlier as that? well. It just happened to actually work this time for the kill. Yeah, I mean he's timing it perfectly with the with the prisoner hook at the same exact frame that Boxy tries to hook away, and so it just actually ends up pulling him away. That's really interesting. I don't know. I I think there's something uh, freakish going on. That shouldn't happen. Is I'm it, not like. <laughs> it, well, I, I don't know. At the same like, if it's going the other way though, you could argue like, why is that against prisoner? Like it, it's just it has to go one way, and it just happens to go the prisoner's way. Right there. So, I like it, it, to me in my mind, if if Gala was actually hooking to his teammate instead of getting hooked back, I mean that's not fair to prisoner then. So, yeah, you can't rip the hero in half and <laughs> headshot. Headshot. He just like it's like Devil War style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Explodes. Bottom lane. It's a tough. Call. Teltuk is doing a great job looking for kills, but I mean it might not be a great job because it's. Okay, stun ulti from Magmus. Should be a kill. Should be, yep. And only like the point blank Magmus ulti always does more damage than a Magmus ulti that's channeled from afar and then you PK into it. It feels that way at least. Meanwhile, how did that even happen? Prisoner just like walked up to Mage and I feel like he must have had a build rod here and just kinda caught him off guard, put the shackle on and he couldn't blink away, of course. Obviously, Shackle 
Very good against Mage Bane. That, that's something we didn't really mention when we saw this Mage Bane final pick, is that Shackle is going to be great against him. Yeah. Your prisoner here. So it does make I mean, me look at it a little there bit. There we go. There's the hook. This is so ridiculous. They just... <laughs> it's got... It, it really, like... I know this hero's already frustrating to play against, but this has to be exponentially frustrating. <laughs> so, okay, so let's throw in a Behemoth and Prisoner. Yes. Yeah. Wow. wow. And Boxy seems to just be the target of it the entire time. And they're doing a jo good job of Veld running through Fusen's vision. Because, I mean, look at those two wards in the mid lane. They should scout everything out. True. Yeah, that Veld rot, though, gave them the path to not only kill Mage Bane, but as we just saw, Gauntlet as well. So this whole Mage Bane farm, too, of what was 450 gold per minute there for a minute or so, is now down to 380 and 370 even, and he only has a sustainer here. And, but again, that, that's the other thing too. It's like when he when he gets through Reclaimer, he's going to then need you know his next tier item. And if he wants a straight shrunken head, I mean, sure, that's good. But we're just even talking about Prisoner. He's physical. The Shackle will lock him down still. The Prisoner Breaker There's the hook mid lane. Damage. But never mind. It's a Parasite. He doesn't care. I I am kind of disappointed in the amount of um, impact Teltuk has had this game. Like, I really think he should have had more farm. He has two kills, and that's great and all, but, I mean, two of three, so I guess you can't really argue too much against his yeah. performance, but, yeah. The farm early on was a little yeah. weak, for sure. When he did go back to his own jungle there, just making a point that he wanted to just farm, but um, I mean, he has 1,800 gold saved up, so typical Teltuk fashion. Not yeah. Sure what the plan is here, but a you know puzzle box as we put it last game. It's a pretty iffy choice, so might not go that. Um, maybe just the right up straight up abyssal skull here, but I think the puzzle box is still great. I mean, it's not the greatest versus Serenia, but if Serenia wants to kill himself on the puzzle box three, mm -hmm. eventually. Plus, it's just, I mean, it's not the greatest versus Zlapt, of course. We saw that, well, I mean, we would have seen that last game had Zlapt gone for a puzzle box, but he went for all these armor items and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to be annoying to deal with, but at the same time, deadlift without mana cannot res anybody. That is very true. How much mana does that cost? That's not something I really thought about. It's only 100. 100, 125, 150. But I mean, Deadlift's mana pool is small enough as it is. Yeah. It's not spending a whole lot. These pauses are really frustrating me, though. Yeah. When playing, I already get frustrated enough. <laughs> spectator here, yeah. At least at the group stages, we have like other matches to maybe check on and stuff. But he's at the playoffs here, so this is the only series going on. And... This will be followed again. The winner of this right now sinking prime spot to, to be that. Already up one nothing and looking really good here. And game number two going to be moving on to play Complexity. So they would love to have that rematch yet again here. Complexity. Complexity, man. They're going for the third cycle victory in what is now cycle number five here. So they're going to really – they have a chance to really put themselves in a uh, – in a great spot, essentially, you know, moving forward when it comes to points, especially, and just kind of a statement being made that they're the top dogs. And I think if yeah. they do take cycle five, they have all, all every right to say that. So that's uh, up to Sync to deter that, or BMG if they come back here. Kind of take their first each. Zibe is still a bit away from his PK, and Glacius actually has an eye, picked up an eye. So that he can kind of word efficient, well, appropriately. I'm not entirely like it's decent versus uh, parasites, wild hunter as well. But other than that, I don't see a reason for him to have already picked up an eye. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting seeing a bound eye this early on in the game. But I, I mean, I guess they are. You only pointed out they've already been using the veiled rod to get around ward of sight. So gonna be using the eye here to essentially to just take out the ward aside to just keep this BMG team very dark that because again the catch they have with the reach and everything it's, it's just yeah. absurd and if they don't have vision to help them at least see it coming then you know they, there literally is nothing that they can do they kind of just have to hope that it's not happening in their area and if it does and it does so <laughs> that's never a good spot to be in of course 
Yeah. Of course, they could mind game them though. By um, what's it? By leaving the ward, the the wards there, and then just veiled rotting through it so that they feel safe. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden, there's a deadlift grip and a um, hook coming in, coming at your face, pretty much. Yeah. I really wonder how it works though. Um, with Boxy, it's been that he's hooked before the he's his hook has reached its target before. Masera has hit him because you know he's standing still. Or so, I don't know. Well, well, yeah. So I, I think that's what it is. It's whatever happens second. I think it's just so been that Boxy has not, happened wait. to hit his hook first, right before the prisoner hook hits him. Or he didn't hit his hook yet, and then while he's being hooked, he got hooked. He hit Rhapsody. I think that's what's happening because I remember him being dragged before. So I think whatever hits first goes. Yeah, I don't have the replay, unfortunately, of that one there, but yeah. um, I'd we'll be curious to see exactly what it, what is happening and, you know, bring that up even, but something that I'll definitely bring up, but to the to the peeps, but yeah, I don't know if there would be a, considered a glitch there or not, or if just simply let, like I said, you know, essentially, like, something has to happen. It, yeah, it's, exactly. It's like, so it's just a matter of it just happens to go prisoner's way here. Or whatever the case is, but the top tower goes down by the Legion team coming out of the pause here. So easy tower. Oh, they're going to collapse on a mage bean here, it looks like. You see him, he realized something might have been happening, though, and he blinks away at the last second. So that would be a good reaction on his part. He is inching closer to that rune dex right now. Where is this going? Okay. Um, There's the hook. Yep, going to Boxy. Now, Boxy was envious with the failed Ryu. Now, he is going to get the hook off this. Tell look at that shackle chasing it down. Turns around with the gauntlet blast even, oh my God. but it just doesn't matter. Could not get away there. No matter how uh, hard I had, he tried. I think if Maki is stunned, then he might have been able to get away, but then Maki puts himself in danger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, they're all running. They're running for the Magmas. Oh boy, he's going up. He's going to be found here, Shackle. Here comes Behemoth with the stun, though. Behemoth, there's a fish. And the hook. hook. Easy Shackle, easy prison break. <laughs> easy easy everything. Attacks. Easy taunt. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a new taunt? I don't know. I've never seen that one. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Dude just got slapped and died. Oh, oh and here comes the death grip. He's the middle lane. Behemoth, he's just gonna run up. <laughs> Shocker's in the face. Oh, they're having fun with it now. Oh, uh, this feels so. Uh, uh, I feel feels bad for dirty. BMG. Yeah. It feels so dirty. They're just. They're pretty much all around the map because of the range of their abilities. And now yeah. Zibe has a PK. Again, I, I will say, though, like, to to the defense of, of the strategy that Sync's running, you're like, first off, it's not like this is new for Sync. They've had done this now for these last couple of weeks, you know, this idea of the deadlift. And the prisoner, especially. I mean, so it's just you know, whether it's trying to maybe ban something in there or pick some one of those for yourself or picking against it. Like we talked about the Arachna, the Moraxis. There are a couple of heroes that come to mind that are pretty decent here. See, there we go right there. Gauntlet is able to hook away despite being kind of hooked in there. So good get away from Boxy there. Yeah, I didn't even make it a point. It really is. I don't think anyone really knows exactly what happens there. But, um, but this does come back to the draft of BMG, and it's just like they didn't really kind of make a point that we're going up they against this. They want to deal this. with the death after anything. Yeah. Oh, God, Teltuk is getting a shroud. He actually is, isn't he? I hear it was nothing in the background. Yeah, I. that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> he's going to go shroud, and he sure enough does. Didn't want to say anything, but... Well, he's going Talk Shroud, so I guess he's going to be able to sneak up on people. Yay. Well, effectively here. Mage Bane does have the Rune Dax now, and he is farming away. So they still have a chance in this game. They do. However slight. I see Mage Bane blinking away. He's finishing off the Ancients. So the GPM, he's tied with De er, Prisoner. And Sand Wraith, even Deadlift is up there as well, 400 plus now. But ideally, Mage Bane will start to take up a little bit. But again, it goes to like, so now what does he go next? It, I think he kind of just has to take the risk and go like the Firebrand here and just really try to keep the farm just around going. Just split push. Oh god. Pyro. 
Yeah, that split push idea, the firebrand, the geometer's bane. It, like the shrunken ad, it's it's going to be good. It, there's a reason to get it, but it's not the ultimate answer either. So, if he if he I gets mean, the shrunken, geometers then, might work. Yeah, I think geos is the best. way to go. Yeah, just for the shackles, well, you can get rid of it that way, and on top of that, the death grip, you don't actually have to like, like a shrunken doesn't help you farm. Similar to the idea that if you if you're playing as a team with all PKs, then they don't have any ability to help them farm or increase their GPM better in any way. And okay, deadlift. Yeah, well, Sam is gonna be picked off too, and deadlift is gonna be chased down for the kill. Mana rift to so, finish him off. BMG looking good. Okay, they are gonna find. They're gonna get. They're gonna get Mage Pain. There's no way he's getting out of here. Maybe. Unless actually. he doesn't have mana for port though. If they have dust, no, they don't have dust. But oh man, he's so he's now he's putting out, man, man, Sarah, you oh. had a chance, and now he portal keys. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's really brutal. But again, the spider senses from Balthazar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get a couple of kills and they stay alive. Ultimately, and that's you have a couple more instances of that here for PMG, and they they certainly are because again, it goes back to Mage Bane. And but then the again, Sandrith, Sandrith isn't the worst hero late game, you know? True. No, he's very good, too. He's got the Mocker Brilliance on the way. But why is Telta going for a Shroud? Like, I feel like this is just maybe a bit... Like, he feels like the game is over and he's just trying to have fun with it. But the game is really not well, over. See, the, I, I don't think that, though, because, again, he's done this before. Like, he, he thinks, yeah, but... as a Parasite player, that there legitimately is a purpose to get, to get Assassin Shroud. So... And what that purpose is, I don't know if anyone really knows. I mean, I remember, what was it, like, Peksu did it a couple of times as well, just getting the shroud, or was it Tankafed? No, I'm it, not was, sure. it was Pinky Curdy. Pinky Curdy, that was it, right, mm -hmm. with, uh, yeah, that was it. But that guy's insane. So, I mean, <laughs> that guy, I understand. I mean, I, I don't know. It's like the, the logic is this actually does get a kill right here with, uh, with Without Foxy, a trap. and you can see the grips aren't going to die there. Um, it, it essentially kind of gives you a free stealth hunter. You know, you don't have to worry about finding one. That's that's really what it does for Parasite. So, I mean, stealth hunter is a strong companion, of course, for a Parasite. But the way you have to look at it is he's spending 3,300 gold on this item. So, what else yeah. could he have gotten with that gold? So there's plenty, of course on the list that we see all the time, in fact. In fact, a level one puzzle box, you know, on your way to uh, level three puzzle box is like one of the bigger ones, but um, yeah, another pause here, unfortunately. So, Serenia but... did choose to go for the Steam Boots, even though he had the early eye. Like, I, I kind of think that it might even be worth it just to go Striders in that case, so you can just counter ward better with that eye. Yeah, well, yeah. that's... Definitely Plus, I mean, valid. yeah. I love the new Striders; they're fantastic. Like so many people are picking it up now. Like you have Behemoth going for it straight. You, okay, no one on the Hellborn team, but oh, Parasite. Like on Parasite, for example, when you're inside a creep, you start regening health because the uh, the Striders they don't get popped. Mm -hmm. Like they don't uh, stop your health regeneration. And on top of that. What's even more fantastic with Parasite is you can get a Merrick's Bounty, and only when you kill the creep you're inside do, does the does it pop. So when you're inside a creep and kill stuff, the Merrick's Bounty doesn't actually go. So it's actually like you you use it every 30 seconds or so at the early game, but later on when your creeps are strong enough to keep kill multiple creeps without dying, yeah. then it, you'll have it. It'll be worth it. And then in about eight minutes you've already broke even, and then you only increase your farm from there. Huh. Interesting. And it doesn't affect your farming at the start either because, I mean, you'll get the chalice one minute later and then you'll have enough mana to use, like, three infests anyways. <laughs> well, let's just say that's something we don't have to worry about in the competitive scene here. Yeah. yeah. Is there actually talk of it ever being released for no. competitive? No. Waz okay. Waz has made it pretty clear that it's not a competitive item. It's not a competitive tool. It's not made for that purpose, so... But I mean, then it, then the item just feels so. <laughs> like, why is it even in the game then? 
Yeah, but, I mean, they have their logic with the, the TMM scene and stuff, I, I know, but it'd yeah. be best to explain it, but see right there, Fusen. He know. just dropped the eye. Serenia dropped the eye, and Celtic just picked it up. Wait, what? He stole it with the assassin <laughs> trap? He just like... grabbed it when he was invis. What? Okay. So, was he trying <laughs> not to show it or something, and he just got it stolen from him? That's funny. I don't know. I think he might have been wanting to give it to someone. Oh, <laughs> bye, Mage Bane. Mage Bane, is this enough for the kill? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not bad. Makes it easily enough with that mock of brilliance he now has. So, just when it starts to look a little bit something here for BMG, another kill on a Mage Bane will stall a lot of that. And when you see after the death, still 440 gold per minute here for him. Group of middle lane now resurrecting. Yep, he's resurrecting Sanrath, who just got picked off by Teltic, actually. Yeah, he was kind of low when he was going in for the uh, jump on the mage man. Uh, Teltic, the mistake, though, not killing the gravestone. Gets resurrected. Meanwhile, initiation here in the middle lane slapped. In trouble. Gauntlet Flash coming in as well. Hook, though, on a oh, there we go. Go. Glacial downpour coming out. Doing some damage right there, but that's how a fight will end for now. But Makis has an ultimate up. Okay, the shot is doing something. <laughs> yeah. Man, if he ends up having a good game now, yeah, I, know, right? just gonna... I don't know. It's, it's just so it's uh, it's so difficult to criticize because you don't know how this game is gonna go. Yeah. Like, what if he makes an incredibly clutch play that he could have only made because he had an assassin shroud? You know. Like yeah. positioning himself perfectly to cancel the deadlift ultimate, who didn't see him, and then blah blah blah, Sandwich doesn't get rest, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> I, I mean, he already has a way to kind of save himself and fight, you know, with the, with the infest, I feel like. And then when it comes to initiation, if he wants it for that purpose, why not a portal key? Like, I don't know. It's, it's still for me. It's just there's just logic elsewhere. But it, you're right. I mean, he is 4-0-2. So this game, it is hard to say that, it, that it's a wrong pickup because he actually is doing pretty well. At this but point. what next? I'm assuming an Abyssal Skull. Yeah, now just kind of continue that. Combat style that Zlap sort of went last game mm -hmm. on Parasite. Masera, he's Veldrop. Is he just gonna? Again. Okay, they're gonna go. They do find Teltuk here, and obviously with the shackle, Shad won't do much for him there. So he gets picked off pretty easily. That is his first death, and that stops a little bit of a streak there. So Zibe actually picking up gold for that. Mm -hmm. Twelve hundred there. And I mean, Sandrith is just so good against it as well because. Just being able to ident just locate him is enough, I think. Mm -hmm. One thing I am kind of worried game. about is that Haxon is not going to have enough mana for a double ulti, which he doesn't even seem to be going for. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. And actually going to get jumped right here, but nope. Tommy. Oh, Boxy might be in trouble, but the Veiled Rod. Wow, that took was... a while. Yeah. A blessing in this, like a blessing that the BMG didn't have any vision there. Mm -hmm. Oh no. But they oh, catch no. Magnus with the death grip. And then Zebe follows it up pretty easily. He did use a shockwave right there, but secures a kill, buys an arcana. We'll see what Zebe likes. I, I feel like he actually likes to get spell shards, to be honest. I feel like we've seen that a couple times on him, so I think that's I think it's good versus Mage Main, especially. Oh yeah, good point. Mage Main. P passively has great magic armor, and then you know he can give his team magic armor as well. So why not? Yeah, good point. Um, Prisoner does have a full shrunk in now, so allowing him to kind of jump in and be really strong in the midst of these fights here. But yeah, you go back to Sanray, mentioning not going the rest of the stone. He likes the idea of a shrunken head here. I mean, this is a very, very magic heavy team. So really, shrunken head it does have a lot of value. Wants mm -hmm. to get at least first here, so he might still go the resto stone after it now, but but then it becomes less effective. He's got the level three ultimate right now, and the moment he has that level two, the resto stone, it just does so much more. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like the ultimate is up almost permanently, and everyone's at risk of dying the entire time. I'm I'm pretty sure he can kill Pyromancer just by double ulting. Like, look at Pyromancer now. Pyromancer has to port away, but he's already lost half-life <laughs> from one ultimate. That's the illusion there, yeah. Tommy. 
Well, they helps to set up the kill right there again. 100 Magnus, who happens to be found. So Make suffering his fifth death of the game. 21 to 9 hero kills. You would think that this game is just kind of running out of control for Sync, but. Again, you, you, then you kind of look at the overall stats and you see Mage Bane over here. BMG is definitely doing enough to kind of still... I mean, th that is the kind of the thing with this lineup. It's like it's going to get killed. That's inevitably going to happen with so much reach, so much kill potential. So it, it's not surprising to see them, you know, with a decent lead here, I guess. And BMG, you know, they, they've realized that. Clearly they, they're, they're staying from being too frustrated by it and... They're, they're still playing their game, and w which comes yeah. back to this mage bait oh, can be really dangerous here. I think Sandrith might be in some trouble. He's definitely you see the wild him. hunter? And there's the assassin trap coming out of it, going to assist right here, and down goes Sandray. So they're not going to kill the creature, oh, the though. There's a hook to stop Paris, and also Shockwave to stop Parman. And then there's the res on a Haxer. That's what I was saying. They didn't kill the gravestone. Maybe they felt like they didn't have time. I guess they really didn't. <laughs> and he just gets rest anyways to continue farming. So not a big loss there for Sandraith ultimately. Comes back and going to finish that shrunken head now. And the fact they got two kills out of it, definitely worth for Sync there. Yep. Resurrection. And it, does, it does give space to, Balth to Balthazar, though. There's no ulti on uh, Behemoth either. He is maybe in some trouble. Is he gonna? Is he gonna have another blink up in time? Two seconds. One second. Yeah, just in time. But Behemoth has two seconds on the portal key. Yeah, he's to not guess. gonna. Be able to oh yeah. And in the mid lane right now, Pyromance is actually going at it. Well, Zlap gets caught here, but no one's gonna help turn it on to Make. Actually, who did go in? Looks like he just got caught in a bad spot. He didn't even eruption or anything like that. Just simply stunning in right there, but wasn't able to survive. Mage being pushing back in the top lane, kind of keeping them distracted. But again, this is going to happen more and more. This idea of the split push here from Balthazar is going to now keep Sync constantly on their, on their toes. Now, I will say Sync does have a pretty good team to, to deal, deal with, with this. So Yeah. <laughs> Behemoth, oh my gosh. Yeah, he was. Like gonna find him. Or at least do a random stun. Yeah. There's Parasite, though. Parasite searching. He has it a shroud up, but he's not going to get there in time. He's looking for a chance here, but again, just uh, too much getaway here on the Legion side as well. The Shrunken Head now finish on Haxran. <laughs> you see. Serenia actually going to the Astrolabe here, so he's really making use of that gold in the sense of Auras here and whatnot. Spell Shards was finished on Behemoth, as you pointed out, really does make sense, especially against the Mage Bane, uh, to take advantage of that flash armor that he puts up on him and his teammates, especially. So, um, definitely a sound choice but, there. But Sync really feels, I think, like that they're going to start falling behind soon because of this Mage Bane. Mm -hmm. They're so, they're, they're just looking everywhere. For him. Okay, well, now Gauntlet. They're going to find Gauntlet, that's for sure, and that should be a kill to follow. There we go. You see Parasite kind of nearby, but not much you can do at this point. Assassin Shroud on cooldown, so. <laughs> it's so ridiculous that he has a Shroud. He does. Masera finds Make, meanwhile. Oh, that's unfortunate for Make there. He just, again, it's... I'm not going to sit here and criticize for running uphill, but you do have to be careful, especially with a very roll heavy team. But getting picked off now is so, is so terrible. You can't do that. When Gauntlet's already down, they're gonna, this is a free invitation to push now. And of course, the Legion side does not know if they have buybacks, but it doesn't matter at this point because they can force them out. Yeah. They're doing just like that. Like dying there is just... They might be able to fight now, though, because... Gauntlet is up in 11 seconds. Oh, okay, here we go. Parmas is a stun. He's at half-life immediately. And now he's dead, so he's not going to be here. Balthazar kind of doing what he can with that geometer. But the Rax is already but down. the Rax is dead. Yeah, it's left with that onslaught. Easily helps uh, secure the kill on it. And then they fall back. So those couple of kills ultimately result in the melee Rax going down in favor of Sync here. So yeah, if they were feeling a little bit worried there, which is understandable, then that, that helps calm that worriness that they had. Getting their Rax killed now in their favor. So uh, Mage Bane does have 3,100 gold with that said. And again, I'm really curious what Balthazar does go. Is, is he gonna, is he, like I said, the Shrunken Head is still 
Could have proved to be decent, I think, but he may just not go Shrunken. He may just go like a Wingbow here now. Yeah, I have the feeling that he needs to make a risky play, mm -hmm. if anything. Just just go for something that will allow him to push that much faster with his illusion. So, I mean, Zebe is doing a great job of looking for him constantly, just being on, yeah, on his face the entire time. So, he's having trouble with that, but, yeah, he, I mean, he has... It's so difficult. Because with a shuriken, they could fight, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's where it's that, that's that's that case of like, so what is the game plan here? If he goes drunk in, they need to be team fighting. I feel like if he goes that wing mode, keep this split push. Magnus, going. Magnus, Goodbye. this has not been a friendly game for Maki. This is going to be his eighth death here, unless he's or able not. to escape. No, that's not nope. <laughs> He's making it out there for the kill steal. Yeah, that's the other thing about that onslaught. I mean, I think about you know the idea that it aggro's everything on you, but it also does slow you pretty well. Yeah, um, it's low. Especially uh, with more it's nearby. It's low spirits, and they capped at 80%, just, you know, casually. Yeah, just because. Slow. It's like, might as well be immobile at that point. Okay, he does go shrunk oh, by the, the way. Hook here in? we go, the hook. Yeah, this is actually pretty good timing right here. Slapped. He is in a lot of trouble. There's the hook on the mage mode, but again, he just got that shrunk and couldn't use it right here. Blinking back away, so they get the kill on a deadlift and kind of resetting now is the Hellborn team. Now, again, Mage Man did just use a shrunk in. But, but so did Pr Prisoner use his ultimate. Oh, true. So there's there's the yeah, trade-off, I think. And that was so strange. He didn't put the shackle on Magepin. So Magepin just blinked out right after. Right after getting hooked in and ultied. Mm. Yeah, no, you got to get that shackle on him for sure. I mean, Geometers didn't even go on cooldown, so... I am really fearing for Sync right now, even though they have such a huge lead in gold. That's so weird. Ooh, Behemoth. That's so weird, Behemoth. but I agree with you. Behemoth, he is going to catch Mage Bane though right here. This is a huge chance. No, he needs to go. What? He doesn't oh, want to. He doesn't want to. Yeah, I thought, oh my god. I mean, he must have seen him. He just, he I don't think did. he can solo kill him. He can't solo kill well, him. Well, he can't solo kill him, but they, I mean, they were kind of coming, but I guess, yeah, they just weren't close enough. Yeah. Prisoner in Glacius here. Prisoner did have a and in. I think in that time, Mage Man can ulti Behemoth, and then... Okay, now... Now Zibbe has a post as well. Oh, wow. So this is really good for them. He can now just... follow Back. the Mage Man everywhere when he pushes. Yeah, that's gonna be his job, no doubt. Middle then, lane, no! Not a good reaction. Zibbe you have to ulti first. Yeah, I was gonna say. If he shockwaves, that's a kill, probably. Yep. That's 100% sure, a kill. But Boxy again going for the sacrificial stone. I don't. I really think he needs a shrunken in this game, just like last game. Yeah, he I loves mean, the sacrificial. Yeah. He's not farming the best, but I mean, Parasite got a shroud and is not farming the best either. 240 gold per minute now. Yeah. Where is Parasite? Still seeing Parasite. He's down. No, where is he? He's not down here. He is. I don't know. Where the hell is he? Is he mid lane? Somewhere. Yeah, he's mid lane. Okay, That's yeah. he's just him. on the creep wave, like literally with the soldiers. <laughs> That's how we're gonna find him. Okay. Oh, All right, and there we go. And this is just gonna keep happening. Now he's gonna the geo Jomdus is up in uh, seven seconds. You can just send it into the mid tower, just slowly bring that down. He doesn't choose to do that, of course, but <laughs> the option was there. Yeah. Yeah, another 3,000 gold almost saved up. So he did eventually get that shrunken. And I mean, he kind of did use it right there as the fight did break out. But point is now, he is going to have now that next tier item, possibly something like that wing bow again to really enhance his illusions, especially and just his damage in general. Okay, but now now they mobilized both. There There's go. the ulti. But, it's not but prisoner is prisoner in lane. Yep, he's there. He got there in time. Oh, the, the geometers, the shrunken god, they used everything. But it's not going to be enough. they still can't get him. You can't stop that. They need a Hellflower. Yeah, pretty much. And still no Resto Stone on Hax. Like, the fact that Haxorin also ultied before he blinked away was, you know, you could argue he should have been a bit more patient, but what? Meanwhile, okay. Foxy goes down middle lane. Uh, top five. I wasn't watching it, unfortunately. So, <laughs> it's a trust him on that one. Right there. Bottom lane, Make. Once again, finding himself in a tough spot. 
And he's just going to stun away in Portal Gear. He will actually survive here. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, they need a health flare. It's just that that's that's the the tool that will give them a shot here to kill Mage Bane. Because we see right there, if he has if he has geometers being up alone, let alone both to that end truck, and that you just can't kill him. He's gonna be that being said, though. Off. Zibe chose to go for the spell shards instead of the. Oh, there's ulti. Oh, there's actually. a jump. Yeah, rupture just on Serenia though. I guess all Deadlift was there too. He ends up going down. Freeze on a Maki, trying to get a counter kill out of this at least. Majorin splitting up with the geos, but so does Haxer. Oh, he gets hooked back in from Boxy, and now a big shot here for BMG Haxer and trying to get away. He's not going to be able to. He goes down. No buyback to be had as well. There's the mana rift, not the biggest one, but it does help kill Behemoth in the process and a hold for BMG. Also means uh oh for Sync Esports. Yeah, this is what they were scared of. And now 600 gold per minute on Balthazar, and I think it's just going to keep going higher. And with the token now, that gives them even more time to just, yeah, be, become stronger. You know, just get that a bit more time to farm. Five more minutes, it's going to make a world of difference if he's farming this fast. I, I, I still can't believe that. What the? Gala just hooked out Mage Man. And blinked yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Um, anyways, oh. got the token there. But yeah, I still can't believe it. It's we're, we're sitting here talking about how Sync, you know, running this lineup, almost feeling bad that they're running it because it's just so dominant and so much catch. It's just, just ridiculous. But here we are now, 36 it, it minutes in, Man. and BMG is on the verge of now taking a lead and actually has a great chance of winning this game now. But yeah, Mage Band is the answer. Like, this hero is just ridiculous when it comes to split pushing and farm. And they did not address him early enough. I, I think it comes back to that as well. They they were killing everyone else. They were killing his teammates. Not, they did kill him once or twice, to be fair. But God, you know, uh, I, I just hate it. But at the same time, like, I, I don't want to address it because it's just bringing attention that I – but man, 3,800 gold on Parasite now. He's still sitting yeah. on the Assassin Trail Blood Chalice with 3,800 gold. I, I just can't help but think. What is he waiting for? Like, something would be so much yeah, better it's... here. And then he gets a null fire. <laughs> okay, I mean, null fire has a purpose. There's no doubt in that. But it's just like, oh, God, why? Why do you do this to us? But the null fire is good versus the shekel. And you can purge the illusion from Sandworth, I guess, if it it's is, on you. It is good. Oh, meanwhile, being even jumping in with a shockwave. I don't know if that was the greatest, though. Really only at one target. And now the Fissure Stunt kind of blocking a little bit. of Balthazar, he's just free reign, right clicking in the midst of this fight now. You see Sandworth is not doing That's a whole lot. He's trying to run, and the Mana Rift doing work there. But it oh, isn't going to be from... enough, actually. Mage Bane in trouble. Mage Bane goes down. The token going to be used. So the Legion team actually holding him right here. Sick. Buyback from Prisoner. They're going to lock him down, and Mage Bane will fall again. Hat trick for Haxorin. That was so hard to follow amongst all the illusions and everything, but man, Sink actually wins the fight in the end. All it took was a buyback on Prisoner, and now they're pushing into the base with no buyback on Mage Bane. Yeah, the that, that felt really forced. If they win the game, if they get the racks now, that wow. <laughs> I yeah I. I I didn't this think is... that fight was going to be like nearly like that committed, or if anything, it was going to be a win for BMG. Yeah, yeah, I'm still just in shock that Sink won that so well <coughs> by the end of it. I thought it was a fantastic play at the start with Make going in with the stun, and then Behemoth solo ultied him. But... Yeah. I mean, Sink just won the game right there, and it feels like. Yeah. like they're going to push now 30 more seconds still on Mage Band. They got two sets of racks now dead. Uh, there is a doing? chance that BMG still takes this, but uh, now it's very slim. Oh, yeah. No, now it's back to Sync Esports feeling really comfortable. Again, being up two sets of racks right here. I don't care what hero and how far he is, but you're up two sets of racks to none. I mean, there's still outer towers even up for Sync. It's it's just not a comfortable spot to be in at all for BMG here. So uh, that really was, you know, I got the replay here. In fact, so yeah, again, it started with Santa Wraith. He... Popped his illusions right there. The, sh the shockwave, it barely even hit Magnus, actually, let alone killing or hitting him. Uh, going back to live action, by the way, Magnus is going to get caught here. Sheepstick and everything else, everything in the, the book used right there to get him killed. Samrith wants to chase, but gone a little too far there. But now Magnus is dead once again with no buyback here at the top lane. How are they ever going to be able to fight this now? They don't have token. and Okay, Mage Bane is going to... 
I'd be able to port now, but... They have to try. It's Mega Creeps or Bust right here. They gotta go for something. Boxy already at half life. He gets locked down by the death. Gonna go down. There's a shockwave for you. And it's Balthazar locking him down. He will die shortly after. But Balthazar is doing a good job holding his ground, but he is gonna have to eventually blink out, trying to survive right here. Look at buyback from Zibby and immediately post ace in though. They know that this is Mega Creeps. They want to make it happen, and I don't think Mage Man is going to stop it. That should be it. Yeah, the stick. Yep. That is absolutely going to do it. Sync Esports will take the series two games to nothing here in this best of three. But boy, what it was it another game? I mean, it went from being yeah. just dominance for Sync early on to all of a sudden, what is happening? This could be a win now for BMG to then Sync taking it in the end here. Uh, that was just such a roller coaster of emotions that game yeah that was that was insane like i think they lost focus for just a few seconds and that really cost them the game like the taking of kong was brilliant but i th i saw it as an opportunity for them to just keep farming not for an opportunity that to them to then go into mid to fight <laughs> and then everybody dies it's just uh, it felt really forced you know I'm watching the replay again, too, to kind of pick up on, you know, how that all kind of played out here in that final fight. And it, one of the bigger things I do notice is that Mage Bane kind of, he blinked in and he got hit by the prison break right away. And he was actually locked down for a fair amount of that. He got some auto attacks off, but he was kind of clumped up, locked down for while his teammates then were getting picked off. And uh, he did use a mana riff. I don't even think it was that big, actually. Um, wasn't able to get off a huge one there. And, yeah, it's obviously the Legion team was able to, Get the work done right there. Prisoner buying back, coming back in. And that, that was the fight that then determined it in favor of Sync, of course. So, whew, what a game. What a game. Another good series here. Again, expected it definitely be in the loser's bracket finals. But Sync Esports will move on to the grand finals and get their rematch with Complexity Gaming. So, you know, Sync knows all about being uh, from the winner's bracket. They were, they were last cycle. And then they ended up losing to Evil Corporation in the grand finals after getting there from the winner's bracket. So getting there from the winners, I mean, it gets you a nice rest here for the initial series, but it's a straight-up best of three. So these two teams, either team can definitely win. Will it be Sync Esports uh, for their first cycle victory, or will it be Complexity for their third? Well, we're going to be finding out here in just a little bit here. Uh, about 45 minutes is when it's set to take place, so there will be a little bit of a break here on Honcast, of course, but uh, we are going to keep the stream on and everything, but uh, we'll be joining you guys once again for the Grand Finals. That's at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2100 Central European Time. Um, short kind of anything else before we go on this break here? Um, stay tuned. It's going to be a great series. <laughs> stay tuned. It, it certainly is. It certainly is. Looking forward to it, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are as well. It really should be going. These two teams never disappoint. I mean, they even showed that as, as recent as yesterday in their winter bracket finals, which did go three games and entertaining series there. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for that. Again, about a 45-minute break or so, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2100 Central European time is when we're going to be coming back and uh, joining you here on Honcast. So, stay tuned for that. Enjoy your break. 